tell me about, uh, well, I guess you never learned piano. I never had piano lessons before. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I never took lessons for piano. Um, it was just something that kind of came naturally at a really young age. My mom and dad met in a battle of the bands and both played keyboard and like had dates that night that they came with and ended up sending their dates home and hanging out together and I guess you know, the rest is history. Nice. So and, uh, did, did both of them play? Or? Both of them played keyboard, both of them sing. My dad plays a little bit of guitar and drums and built me a studio at our house when I was seven years old and I learned how to record on dad wow. tapes and you know, all kind of different stuff. So it's so. genetic. If both yeah. of them play keyboard, it kind of just... I had no choice. But welcome everybody, I'm here, uh, we're on behalf of changingfate.org. Basically what our mission is, is not just Latinos, but everyone across the globe. Uh, we reach out and we help kids, uh, adolescents and, and teens that are getting into trouble. And we just basically try to turn their life around. And uh, Nikki Flores here, uh, she's uh, been signed to Sony Music Publishing for over nine years. Uh, she's written uh, recent songs for Christina Aguilera and we really feel that she's a positive role model. First of all, thank you for being here. And uh, I really, uh, on, on a side note, I really think that the song we're doing is just gonna be a smash. I think it's I'm great. so excited. Right? So. I love it. Learn it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Okay, well. Okay, so first of all, what's new uh, with you? What's what's going on in, in Nikki's career? So much stuff, so much stuff. Well, right now I'm in the process of, I, well, I leave in 48 hours um, to go on tour with Aaron Carter. Um, this is the first time I'm doing something for myself as, an, as a recording artist in a while. The question I want to know from you is what inspires you? Oh gosh, I'm inspired by so many things. I'm such an advocate for writing about something that is true for a lot of people. I love relating to my fans and hearing their stories and writing about it, putting it on my songs or things that I'm feeling really heavy on my spirit, like love and heartbreak and, you know, not knowing who you are, finding yourself in this world that is so crazy and the standards that we feel like we have to live up to and how hard that is for kids growing up. Uh, you recently wrote a song on Christina Aguilera's new record. And Christina, you know, a couple years ago uh, with her, some of her albums, she, you know, she airs her stuff, you know, mm -hmm. she talks about some abuse in her family, and do you think that it's important for people that are going through things like that, whether they have a platform or not, to express that in some way, or, or what would you tell someone that, you know, maybe is going through what Christina went, and they, they don't have that platform, what, what would they, or should they do? If you're able to find an outlet in music or lyrics or poetry or diary entries, whatever it may be, I think any outlet is great for those types of situations because I've been there where I felt trapped in a situation or trapped in something where I was just so hurt or so angry or so confused and I didn't really know what to do, but then as soon as I sit down and start writing a lyric about it, it's like it's almost like you're getting it out of your system and you can, you know, it, it puts everything into perspective and the way that it ended up working out for me was I put that into my lyrics and then had the songs released and had a million people telling me, you know, this song, I wrote a song called I'm Okay, or uh, It's Okay. So. That actually was my last question, <laughs> which is I saw something on your Twitter and it said, somebody said that, you know, it had really helped them yeah. uh, with their relationship. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I mean, me personally, I feel like that's the real and only reward that's why for music this. in general. That's why I do this. So uh, tell me about that Seeing song. and things, like it's just... It blows my mind to have people write to me and say, your song let it slide or your song it's okay, like, you know, stop me from cutting myself or stop me from, you know, let me get out of an abusive relationship with my boyfriend or, you know, just all kind of different stuff. And it's like, God, these things that I was just feeling and people can take it, you know, however they want to take it. But like, Yeah, a million different ways. It, it, I don't even know how to feel about it. It's, yeah. almost, it's so surreal. It's so surreal. Yeah, I mean, about. you're... You're essentially helping people through their problems um, through your, you know, intellectual property. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, it's great because I can look back on that stuff when I'm having a rough day and realize why, why I'm in this and why I persevere and why I've been so resilient is because of that reason alone. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is our session with Nikki Flores. We thank her for being here. This is ChangingFate.org, and uh, we're looking forward to many big, beautiful, bright things Thank for your future you. because you're just way too talented <laughs> and uh, it, it's, it's inevitable.